Hello guys and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. I hope you guys are ready for some extreme motivation because we're doing a lot of decluttering and organizing today. The first place I wanted to start was here in my pantry. So I know we've already worked on this space, but I felt like when we were moving in and I was creating these videos, I was getting everything almost to where it needed to be but now that we've lived here i feel like i needed to do some tweaking plus like all of these bags have gotten out of control so basically we're just going to be moving through the house today working on those areas that yes i've organized but they're not working so we're just going to tweak them a little bit If you're new here and you enjoy this style video, I'd love for you to give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend that can benefit from it, and definitely check out my channel. And if you like my content, hit that subscribe button. I post two new videos every single week and they're all home related and we'd love to have you here. This looks so much better. I feel like it took a lot longer than I was expecting it to. Um, I had a hard time getting everything like settled in here. If you guys watched like when we were moving in and I was decorating the space or I guess I wasn't decorating, I was organizing it. Um, and I still don't feel like I've like 100% nailed it, but it is functioning way better. I had so much stuff that we use daily, like down here in the corners and stuff, it wasn't working. Um, so I was trying to get things more eye level. Um, I've tried to just like where the kids can grab, like Savannah and her friends. We have like a popcorn shelf right here. Um, we have all of our cake mix and I went ahead and displayed them since we have the space. Um, we have like overflow stuff all throughout here. This space looks so much better. I do wanna get a different basket. I'm not <laughs> loving this anymore. I've had it so long, like since our very first house. So I need to flop that out one day. I want to get like a banana hook for in here. And then I have this snuck around here because you can't see it, but it's stuff like kids grab. So I wanted it down low, but I didn't want to like see it all the time. I also love having these like lazy Susans. And then this whole area I got cleaned up and it looks a lot better. Next up on the list is my closet. Um, I'll give you several tips for decluttering clothes because I know some of you guys have a hard time. So you think you were right? Bring it on, prove me wrong. Go put up a fight. Mm -hmm. The way I do, way I do will not kill. I will say if you're wanting to do a very big extreme declutter and it's not something you do often, pulling everything out of your closet is going to work so much better. But I declutter almost every single day. Like if I find something in there, I'm willing to let it go. And so I can kind of just go through my clothes. But if you're a beginner declutter, definitely just take them all out. If you don't want to do that because that's too much work, at least take like all the same thing out. Like take all your pants out and then go through them. Take all your tank tops out and then go through them. You can do it my way, but typically it's not the best result. So just keep that in mind. I try to be very ruthless, especially when I'm doing a declutter right before we're going into a new season. Like, I don't wanna keep something because I used to love that style, or I used to like the way it fit, or I used to like it when it was brand new. Try to think about like, your current situation, the current um, kind of trends and what you're actually gonna be putting on, maybe the weather, kind of keep all of those things in mind. 
try to remember, did you even wear it last year during that same season or did you never touch it? So you're probably not going to this year. Um, so I try to think about all those things. So I'm a little more ruthless and I'm not just keeping things to keep them stored in my closet. You know there's a motion between us. We did so good. I need to go back through here and like tidy it up. <laughs> um, but I don't even think you can tell by the pile on the screen. Like I got rid of so many things. I'll try to count it as like I fold it and get it up. Um, I know some of you guys are gonna ask what I do with it. My sister's coming into town, so she'll go through it. My mother-in-law, my mom, dance mom's friends, and then I donate it. <laughs> but I need to get this folded. I'm so glad I have extra hangers now. And then I'll go through and just like tidy that up super quickly. I just sorted through all this. <laughs> I've got it divvied up. So like when my sister looks at it, this is like dressy sweaters. Um, this is more like casual t-shirts. This is like dressier shirts, bottoms. These are like dressier bottoms. These are more like joggers and casual. 28 pieces, 28 pieces I got rid of. So I feel really good today. And I still have to go through those. I forgot I was pulling stuff down if it looked like identical because sometimes I buy the same thing. Um, so I'm gonna go through that as well. About the way we used to be When I think about the things it took from me I know that I am so much better Better off. When I look at what I've done Now that we are apart When I look at what I've won Quick reminder, I try to always say this when I'm decluttering or organizing or both it gets worse before it gets better. <laughs> so all of this is coming down. What I like to do is keep new clothes right here until I wear them enough that I remember them and they're into my like wardrobe system. Then once I see I've wore them quite a few times, then I'll file them away over here. But if I buy something new and stick it into like my black section, I'm never gonna remember it because I don't have that many colors. So like if I get something black or gray and I slide it in, I just tend to forget about it. So I always put them right here. So I have a little section for them. And then like I said, once you're like grabbing for them cause you remember them, then you can wash it. Next time you put it away, put it within your system. But I feel like that's just always helped to me when I have new clothes, especially when we're going into a new season or maybe just pull out your favorite pieces. Maybe you're decluttering and you realize like, hey, I love this sweater, but I never wore it last year. Pull it off to the side so you don't forget about it. And then you can wear it and then eventually file it back in. Just a little update, we're doing good. I need to find like a box or bag for these. Um, I haven't gone through my shoes, there won't be a ton, but I do basically wanna go through that shelf. I've got these shelves that you can't really see, I need to go through that. 
I did go through my drawers already off camera. I just kind of got the itch one day and did it. Um, I talked about these clear um, drawer dividers and they are working out so well. I mentioned those in another video. Um, those are all my pajamas. And then this is all like bra panties and all that. This is Chase's so I don't touch it. Um, but I am going to look underneath the shelves. All those I need to go through and then some shoes. So much better. I don't know if it looks a ton different <laughs> from the beginning clips, but I feel like after I went through everything, I got rid of like 36 pieces or so. So it's all looking really good. Plus I had already went through my drawers. Um, everything's just feeling better. I feel like when we first moved in, I got everything close to where it needed to be, but I couldn't like get it perfect because we just moved in. We were unpacking. I was filming. So I got it to where I needed to, to be able to breathe, but it's nice getting to like go back through the house and just tweak it a little bit. And so the space is feeling good. Um, I like to keep extra hangers. I keep some back there and then I also keep some over here. And this is gonna be the next space we are working on. Okay, I lied. I forgot I wanted to do my bathroom and it's another like big area I need to work on. So I want it done just in case I get busy later. But this has gotten out of control. I'm not one that has a ton of products, um, but Savannah loves them, testing them out. So I like trying them with her. If she doesn't like them, I take them to try. I don't know, there's just a lot going on right here in this cabinet that I'm not like using. So I'm gonna go grab a step stool and then actually I have my chair over here. So I'm gonna kick off my shoes and then start going through all these products. Shaking but not stirred Just a lesson that I've learned I'm really just looking for products that are almost empty. You'd be surprised at how many things I pulled out that just had like a teeny tiny bit left that I was hanging on to. So I was trying to be ruthless if I haven't used it in a long time. If it did have anything in it, I'm just gonna put it in that donation pile for like my sister and niece to go through. Um, but I'm trying to really think, is this something I'm using? I have a hard time getting rid of beauty products because just because I'm not using it now doesn't mean I won't wanna use it in a few weeks. But if it's old or it's empty or it's like, hey, I've had this a while, never used it, then it's time to let it go. Let's go through my makeup drawer as well because I feel like I just need to sort through this. Um, I didn't realize how many empty bottles I had in this drawer as well. I guess I need to be better about that. I feel like if it has even a little bit in it, I'm saving it, but then I'm never actually using it. So it's just going all in my drawer. So I definitely need to be better about that. Okay, so we finished up my side of the bathroom. So I thought I'd show you real fast. I still have a lot of product, but at least it's organized. I just like getting to test things out. And then if I don't like it, I'll put it um, in the guest bedroom. Basically, I'm putting everything over there so when my sister and niece come into town, they can decide. Now, a lot of the stuff I buy is like overflow. So I have like two or three of everything <laughs> just so if I can't get to the store or if I need it, anything like that, I have it. So that cabinet's looking a lot better. This one isn't organized, but there's just not a lot in it. Oh, I need to grab my clear dividers. That's what I'll do. Put those in there here in a little bit. These are all my nails, just in case you guys are curious. My toothbrush drawer. This is like my hair drawer. 
and then this is kind of like my supply drawer here is underneath my sink nothing special <laughs> and then I definitely worked on my makeup drawer um, it's still a little full but I feel like if that's all the makeup I have I'm doing good I watch some youtubers and I'm like dang their whole bathroom is makeup which is fine because I love doing makeup but I'm pretty simple I pretty much have everything and just in all different colors <laughs> so I know what I like and then I have a lot of like extra um, lash stuff now we're gonna move on to my laundry room basically I want to work on this space mainly I feel like everything else is organized for the most part like I could make it a little bit better like just set things up everything's organized and where it needs to be um, I worked on this drawer the other day once again, it's a junk drawer, so it's not perfect, but you can see what you need. Everything's kind of categorized down there. There's not a lot. This is normally just overflow on drinks, in case you're wondering. And then over here on this side, it's like extra supplies, stuff like that. And then this whole section is just for my dogs. So let's work on this cabinet it's never made sense it's kind of my party cabinet but there's other stuff in there so i was just gonna see if i could make it look a little nicer yeah i'm restless so give me something to do yeah i can't stay here because i need to dance jump jump around and show them how i move It doesn't look like much, but it's so much better to me. So basically these are stands for cake pops just anytime we're having a party. Um, right here is all Savannah's birthday stuff. Basically it was her golden birthday party this year. So we had it in the sun and like did a swimming party like in the golden sun because she's always had a winter birthday party. But I'm still going to want to like do something small for her on her actual birthday. So I saved like the leftover plates and cups and like numbers and letters we had and candles. So I have all that there for when that comes. And then for all the holidays, I like to keep little baggies. Like this is for the new year. I have like Valentine's Day, 4th of July. So anytime I have leftover supplies, I put them in a baggie. That way I don't have as much to buy next year or at all. We've been using the same like Happy New Year <laughs> stuff for so many years. And then these are just extra like balloon weights. I feel like I rebuy those every single year. So I thought I'm gonna save them right here. Candles, um, I put a lighter, um, like glow stick bracelets, all of that stuff. So if it's party related, it's within this cabinet. And like I said, this shelf's not super pretty, but <laughs> at least I can see everything. Oh, yeah. I love a stocked drink fridge. Um, we've had a extra fridge in our house for several years. We had it in this house, the last house, and the house before that. No. Was it in the last? I don't think so. I think two houses ago we didn't have it because we didn't have room in our garage. But I love having it. So Chase's grandma has always had a stocked fridge. And then that way when anyone comes over, they can drink, they can have whatever they want. They don't have to ask, they don't have to feel awkward. I love that it's out of the kitchen so they don't have to feel awkward like going in and searching for something. <laughs> they can like walk away from us, come in here, shop the fridge, get whatever they want. I love when we have people working on our house or outside of the house. I can offer them a drink and I always just say, come in here, pick whatever you need. Um, I just love it for hosting purposes. Plus I just love drinks. <laughs> Um, so I know this is a little much, but that's exactly why we added this fridge into the laundry room at our last house. It was out in the garage, which works fine. Um, my mom still has it out in her garage, but it is nice having it inside and I just love keeping it stocked. So 
everything's looking a lot better in here now. I honestly thought I was gonna get a ton more done in this video, but the spaces were worse than what I realized. Um, so the last space I'm gonna work on today is my decor thing. I need to make sure I like all this. I don't wanna get rid of it, um, especially since my sister's coming into town. This is a good time just to clear stuff out. So I'm gonna take all this out, look at it, reassess now that my house is decorated and I know I have pretty much what I need and then I'll see the pieces that I love and then I'll keep it back in here just for my like itch to switches. love now that I cleared this out I can see everything I have it doesn't make sense to have like stuff crammed where I don't even know what's back there um, that way when I come in here and I open it up I can see what I have now this one's just all greenery so it's kind of a mess but I know what's in there this is all like candles and candlesticks um, stuff like that this is all like concrete stuff um, over here is just a little bit of decor I have left that I might use and then I think I'm gonna let all of these pieces go. This is how I have the guest closet set up for like my sister and niece. Um, the other niece isn't coming in but they'll shop for her. But basically I have all my home decor here. This is all the beauty items. I took all the hangers off that and put it in a bag but I'm feeling a little extra. I won't do it on camera, but I think I'm gonna hang them all back up and hang them here. I feel like it'll just be easier to go through than trying to like tear through the bag. Um, but I love making this closet like a little store when people come, especially if they're not gonna be like staying or staying long. Otherwise I know they would need it. Um, but then they can come through here and just grab a bag and shop. So anyone that comes in, I'm like, go to the closet and you can shop it. It's fun. And then they can just take what they need. I thought I was finished and then I turned the corner and found this. So I guess I have one more area to work on and then we'll be done. This is definitely my catch-all space. I feel like everyone has them. Um, it's been like laundry rooms, and I think it's just, since this is the area we walk in and out of, I used to assume it was my laundry room, but that's because at our last house, it was like the mudroom and the laundry room was like the same room. But I feel like I just cram everything here because so much of it needs to go out to the garage or it needs to be recycled or it needs to be donated, and that all goes out these doors. Um, so I have noticed in this house, that's the catch-all space. I think we all have to have one. Um, now, just real quickly, I found some extra sponges I had bought from Ikea, so I'm gonna go ahead and get them cut up. I just can't use a big sponge anymore. I feel like you waste so much. I like them small, and I just like cutting them, so when I need them, I'm not having to think about it. It's just already done. Um, so if you haven't tried this, it can save you not a ton of money, but it saves you some money, and then you can throw them away more often because sponges do get really dirty. Giving that kiss now I just want to hold you close to me I really like you Do you like me? Don't you want to see what this could be? I am ready for that heartbreak That's usually how it goes I have done a billion mistakes before Maybe I am going crazy Say you feel the same Now that we dancing I'm taking my chances I'm going like one that worked perfectly like look at that it's gonna fit in here nice it keeps these all organized so i can just grab what i need um it was okay in the bins but they always got put in the wrong spot this is just easy to set in i can see what everything is I wish I would have picked up more of those because I feel like I'm going to need them throughout the house. Um, and then this paper is really good. I call it paper. It's like a liner. is a really good quality. Like it's going to hold up great. And I loved getting clear in here just so 
it doesn't look like it's in there. And then if I need to take these out and wash them and like clean them in the sink, I can, and then I can just put them back in. finished but I love that I have a makeup drawer again I love that I'm gonna be able to sit down I feel like I'm gonna have to have the black chair here to be tall enough but look how all of this fit perfectly like this works so much better than even my last drawer that was bigger and I love that everything's in there tight I will say from Timo I got some clear tape I'll show you here in a little bit that goes underneath these so if they're going to slide maybe it's not a perfect fit these may even look move a little bit too so I can come back and put clear tape on them and you won't see it and then they won't move at all so definitely keep that in mind as well I'll try to link that with everything else because that stuff will be used a lot in my kitchen look at that also just a little tip when you're organizing make sure you can keep like I kept pushing in the drawer because the last thing you want to do is organize the whole thing and then it won't shut so I don't know if you guys were noticing on the camera but I kept doing that Basically now I just have a lot of like nail stuff left. I'm gonna see if I can get it to fit in this deep drawer. Um, so yeah, let's see. If not, I'll have to like switch something else out, but let's see if I can maneuver in here. messy but it's at least all in there it started and when I have more free time I can come back through here and make it a little bit prettier but it at least works <laughs> so that's the good news Okay, so I got everything cleared up. We're not gonna talk about back there yet, it's coming, but I wanna pick which chair I should use, and then I'll go through um, before we start the next 
closet part on how all that turned out. Um, originally I picked this and then I loved this in here because it matches our bedroom. But I really think this is going to set up higher. I can spin it. I can adjust it. So I'm going to put both in and then you guys can comment down below which one you like best. So the first option you can see here it just tucks away nicely. I can push it even further. You don't notice it. I can get into the drawer easy if I um, am not sitting at the chair itself. It matches like our bed and everything in here. So I like this option, but let's look at the um, option number two. Okay, so here's option two. The things I love about this is the seat's adjustable. Um, when I do Savannah's hair, especially during dance season, it's nice because she can sit there and I can spin her. I don't have to have her keep moving. It's not gonna stain. I can wipe it down easily. I don't mind the black. The only thing is, is like if I'm gonna stand here and get ready or just, just like touch up my makeup, I mean, it's not bad, but I have to pull it out to like open the drawer because it blocks it. Like, I feel like the other one looks better, but I feel like this one functions better. So when it's in a space like this, what do I do? I'm gonna keep both. <laughs> so when this video goes live, um, you guys can decide because I feel like I could go either way, but let me know. Put down either one, which is like the white ottoman or two, which is this black like bar stool. And now we head <laughs> to the next space. I really don't think it's gonna be as bad as I'm thinking back here. I might start with the clothes and figure out where the clothes go. No, there's too much on the ground. Let me start with my shoes. This is all shoes. That's all shoes. <laughs> this is shoes. I had no idea I had so many shoes. So um, I'm going to tackle the shoes for first to like get some of this off the ground so then I can start figuring out what to do like up high. But look at this. It's a mess. Come take my hand. I will walk with you. I won't let go till you say so. I definitely have more shoes than I realized. Plus, like I knew I would have more storage here, but like I can't put stuff up there that I need to get to all the time. So this will be very seasonal. So like boots will come down here when it's cold, but sandals will come down when it's not. My tennis shoes will always stay nice and close because that's honestly what I wear the most. But I am gonna grab a step ladder so I can get the rest of my boots and maybe accessories that I don't really wear just up higher and then I may just leave um, like a step stool in here just in case like I ever need to get to it. This section is looking better. I'm trying not to put anything down here because we're gonna get rid of this because it's smaller and put like a long dresser 
down here. Um, so actually that'll free up stay, space. I need to move that out and put that other bar back so I can put maybe like all the pants and shorts down here. But if you're wondering like why I'm leaving that gap open, that's why. If I need to move things to the top, I will, but I just hate doing that because sometimes I want a sweater or something and I can pull it down. But if if I can make it fit, I will. Some of my bigger jackets I may take to the coat closet because I feel like this is a lot. <laughs> um, so I'll take like the big winterly ones and put them in the coat closet like towards the front of the house. all of this stuff is going to have to go into a dresser. Um, I can put it in the dresser in my bedroom for now, so I'm not going to show that, but I may just leave it out in tubs because we have the white one ordered and it's going to be a long one um, so we can fit more in it. And that's probably where I'm going to keep all my shorts that are in here. I think these are all, I need to go through there. Oh, there's swimsuits and stuff, but that goes out in, um, our bedroom so other than that it's looking good like I said we're gonna get the dresser I'm gonna fill it up with the clothes that are left so I'm feeling really good I left this spot open and like this spot because I don't have any of my purses when we put our house up for sale I always take them to my mother-in-law's um, just since people are like walking through our house without us there so if she makes it today with them I'll try to add that clip in but I'll be adding like my purses throughout but I like how that looks so originally this was gonna be Chase's side and this was gonna be mine so we like added these shelves for some of my purses and bags but I feel like he has enough anyways with his hats and shoes that he's gonna fill up his face just fine on his own it's so hard to stay on top of the world when the world keeps telling you who you should be all these people telling you what you need oh darling only you can set your spirit free Pay attention now, I ain't gonna stop it, stop it Honey, everything you need is in your pocket Darling, this is what you've been waiting for when it all His shoes look good. The pair he has on can go right there. We still have these top ones. Um, probably hats he doesn't wear a lot. I'll have him display, but I don't know what those are. So right now I'm going to get all his jackets put up up here. Um, so he has more room down here to work with. And then I'll probably just hang his hats like we always do on those hangers. Um, so let's try that and see if that works. When I was filming that segment, my camera died or my battery did and I didn't have anything here. So Chase ran back to our old house to grab it. I don't know what I was thinking because I need so many batteries with all the videos I'm filming right now. But I was able to get everything done here. So I color coded everything and I did it by section. So he has like t-shirts and then all those like dry fit shirts and then a little bit dressier shirts with collars. And then I went ahead and put all his jackets and like sweatshirts up high and then all of his dress clothes clothes and suits basically those were all his clothes when he worked but he doesn't work now but we hang on to him just for other occasions or just in case he decides to go back one day but I feel like his side turned out really well I did not think he'd fill that up like I didn't think there was any way he would fill that up and look he did <laughs> here is another view of it so over here is mine I'll be glad when I get that dresser in 
um, so I can finish that off. And then I'm going to order another one of those clear organizers from Timu for all my necklaces. I feel like it'll be so pretty setting out the one I put all like my makeup um, like palettes in. I feel like then I can just drop in a necklace of each and it'll look nice setting out and then they won't get tangled. So that's really good. So I will say I have less clothes than Chase and I think I have a little more hanging storage than him. But this is like our hallway when we walk. And when you walk in, I'm always going to keep my side cleaner than his. And his has so much more color. Um, so that's why we did this. Not that I won't get the itch to switch one day because I did that in the last house after living there a few years. <laughs> but I just think this will work out nicer. Um, but now I want to work on this bathroom space. I need to clean it up. I need to go out to our building and pick out some decor so I can mess around with it in here. But we are getting close to being done. I also want to like vacuum in here. I may even work on the floor floors but we are so close so hopefully you guys are staying motivated with me or just sitting back and relaxing either way we are not finished yet I realized I skimmed over this when I was cleaning up this is actually nice it slides right here on the shelf so you could hang hats jewelry scarves ties anything like that This little storage clip shelf thing <laughs> is so cool. So you can see I just slid it on the shelf so you don't have to screw it in. This is very renter friendly if you need something like this. And like I was saying earlier, you could hang ties. You could probably hang belts. Um, you'll want to like even it out on both sides. Otherwise, it'll lean one way if you have something like super heavy on it. Kind of like necklaces. I kind of spaced them out. But then they don't get tangled. They're all right there. So yes, love that, love that. Everything's looking great. Here's one way you could like use this little tray and what's nice is if I need to get in a tub I can just pick up the tray and set it down and then use the table for like my phone or a book or whatever. Um, I think it'd be really pretty um, with like some of my skincare or something like that on it. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I like it in here. So I'm going to kind of decorate it because I like it in here better or right here. So something like that, super cute too. Another thing you could use it for is like your makeup. Like if your makeup brushes don't fit in your cabinet, you could have just a cute little glass cup and you could have them up in there. I do have skincare, but none of my stuff like looks nice. I'd have to order like cute little bottles to put things in. It'd be nice to add like a hand lotion there because I'm always putting that on. But guys, I think we're done. I'm gonna go through and vacuum and tidy it up real fast. I'm gonna pick a chair for me, but you guys let me know and then I can always change it. And then we'll do like a full walk. We did it, so let's go through here real fast, just in case you're wondering what's in here. It's just like our water closet, <laughs> just in case you're curious. So this is my side. I still think I can tweak it a lot to make it look prettier, but at least like all the boxes are unpacked. I can find things I need. This morning getting ready was just, it was a lot, trying to like find everything. There's all my like toothbrushes and water pick. That's all my hair stuff. Um, just like extra supplies down here. I just have a trash can and a fan and then of course we did All of this right here. I've got my cute little tray with our perfumes and colognes on it 
And then that's a Chase's station. <laughs> Over here, I end up just displaying it like this. It needs its candles, but once again, they're at the other house. <laughs> so everything I need is like over there. And when I'm over there, everything I need is here. But I think it turned out really well. I never dreamed he would need to use that full side. Um, push comes to shove. If he needs more or we need to rearrange, I can always like put his stuff up there. Or he could just declutter. We'll see. <laughs> Um, but I'm really happy with how everything's turning out. I love that I have like the hamper over there. I have my necklaces hung, um, all the shoes. I think the system's gonna work out really well. This is one of those spaces when I was having to design it because like we just had the walls and then I would meet with like the carpenters to design the closets. I had no idea what to do. I knew I needed to make it go all the way to the ceiling so we had as much storage as possible. But um, this wall was getting tricky because this was supposed to be a full wall. So we lost all this storage here because I added in the pocket door. And then he almost wasn't able to put this in because you can't put really thick screws in because of the pocket door. Like it has to be able to slide into the wall. I can't imagine not having this right here. So he still has a lot more storage on items that he doesn't need to get to all the time. So I feel like it looks pretty good. I still have those two empty up there. Um, but yeah, I think we did good. I think I did only one long hanging section, but we just don't have a lot. Um, so yeah, I think everything's good. I think we need the dresser and then we are good. Okay, I've had the biggest itch to do this and I have some free time. Basically, I have some cabinets I've already worked on and they look like this. Looks so good. <laughs> And then I have others <laughs> that look like this. So we've got some work to do, so let's go ahead and get started. It's so hard to stay on top of the world When the world keeps telling you who you should be All these people telling you what you need Oh, darling, only you can set your spirit I'm gonna try to share as many tips as I can in this video. Anytime I'm doing organization, I try to help you guys out. So if you really like today's video, I have tons of other organizational videos on my page. Definitely check it out. But definitely never start like decluttering or organizing if you have a busy day. So maybe if you can tackle like one drawer or something like that, but if you're trying to get like a room done or a whole bathroom or maybe your whole house, you're just wanting to get a ton done at once, make sure you have the time. So my days mainly are like Saturday or Sunday, football's on, after church, stuff like that when I have a good amount of hours in the day to work on it. We're making a progress, but this cabinet always just like stumps me. I never know what to do with it. I think it's all the color too. Like all of my products have so much color and I like to buy extra of stuff so I don't have to go back as often. So I feel like I have extra of everything, but I do go through it. Like I only buy more of it if I know I'm gonna use it. Um, this is like all my nail stuff right here. I did put like my tanners in the back and this was like hair and then skin but I just can't get it to look right. And I think it's because there's so much color. So I'm just trying to figure out what to do before we move on. My daughter came in and realized that I was just like organizing and she was like, you need a declutter. You've had those nail polishes forever. So she helped motivate me. So if you have someone in your house that can help, or maybe if you're having people over, or maybe just watching videos like this will get your rear in gear. But she's definitely helping me on this particular day. I couldn't believe how many nail polishes I had that were just like empty or really like thick, you know, that you like can't use anymore. They're just like dried up. So we were going through all the bottles and if I had like multiple colors, I was trying to choose which one I wanted unless it was like different shades of it. But it definitely cleared out about half of them. Start a cycle, chain this is what you've been waiting for. When it all comes and you can just let go, honey, this 
Another tip is to go ahead and color code the things you can. Like she did this with my nail polishes because mine had gotten out of control. That way when I'm looking for a pink, I can see all the pinks and I don't run out and buy one that I already have. I just overlooked it. Or maybe I didn't realize I had purple and I had two different shades. So definitely try um, to color code when necessary just because it'll help you or prevent you from spending money. You don't have to if you already have it in there. working on my makeup drawer I don't feel like I have a ton maybe for some people I do but like when I watch youtubers or Instagrammers they have like rooms full of makeup I definitely don't have that I just kind of have the basics I like to try things out so I will have multiple of certain things um, but I had a lot of like lash supplies and I do want to keep a little bit extra just in case um, like the ones I'm wearing now they ship to me and I want to know if there's like a storm or something like that or they don't get to me I still have like original pairs I've already bought that I can use like I hate to just like get rid of those and I could have them as backups so I do like to keep backups when it comes to like makeup or lashes things I use every single day um, I like to buy up on so like when you were seeing me do my other area I think I'll show it again later but I have like two hairsprays and two dry shampoos I don't really want to run out so I feel like I always have an extra one behind it and then when I go to open up the extra one I know it's time to buy another one that way I never run out you don't have to do that if you're like less is more which I am in most areas but when it comes to like getting ready I never want to run out of dry shampoo or something like that Thank goodness Savannah came in and like got me going. I felt like I was getting guilty of just like organizing what I had and not decluttering, which isn't like me, but this is just an area I struggle in because it's stuff that I'm like, I might use one day. What if I do want to use it? What if like a lot of this stuff I may have like overbought. I've switched my lashes now, so that's, I'm gonna have extra of that. The stuff that's brand new, I'll save and give away. Like my nieces come in, my friends come over. If it's like used stuff like this, I'm gonna throw it away. I've already got some of it going over here. But like I said, if it's like where someone can use it like this, these everyone swears by. This um like Hero, what is it called? Mighty Patch for your nose strips. Me and Savannah have tried it several times and they don't stay on us. Like, we don't even put moisturizer on. I'm gonna try it one more time tonight. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna go and let those go because I'm just saving them for no reason. Uh, but like I said, I've got a lot of like new makeup products in here just so I'm gonna put them in a bin, let my friends, let my nieces go through them first. I always let my nieces go um, and they're gonna be coming into town soon. So this stuff won't be wasted. Um, Look at that, that's so funny. But this over here is looking better. She made me go through my nail polishes, which look good. I'm trying to figure this out. I really need more organizers. Um, so I should have grabbed those, but we're gonna keep powering through. Yeah, you're perfect from the way you laugh to the way you behave when you're mad so perfect. Okay, so I talked about this little handheld vacuum during Prime Day. So I saw a lot of girls using it, or I was just noticing it. I never got it. I finally broke down. I did go back and I had bought it. So I ordered it, shipped it, and I use it all the time now. So I didn't think I would need a small vacuum because like my vacuum, my cordless vacuum has attachments like this, but I don't realize how many times I won't use it because I don't want to like 
go take off the stick vacuum and go find the parts for this is just ready to go, especially if you're decluttering and organizing because you can just easily work on the drawers right there. I don't have to get anything else. So that tool has been super helpful. So keep that in mind when you're um, thinking of like Christmas gifts or something for yourself. It has been really, really helpful. Like I honestly didn't think I needed it and I use it every day now. I've seen Chase use it, Savannah use it. So it really does get used more than you realize. Where you go? I follow. Let's go out and dance the night away. Going like one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Dance the night away. I am ready for the heartbreak. That's usually how it goes. If you're wondering why all that hair is in my trash can, I don't know how many times I've ordered like the fake halo rings off Amazon and I tell myself I'm gonna use them and then I don't or I can't make them fit right or they don't set well and they do just feel cheaper. Like I need to order an actual nice one. Like you can get one with real hair. I've just always ordered the cheaper ones and they look cool but I don't feel like they're nice enough to wear. So one day I need to just break down and buy a nicer version of them. If you have one, like totally send me the link if you love it um, so I know which one to order because it would be nice to like add fullness occasionally um, I just haven't found a good one that's worth spending the money over don't you want to see what this could be I am ready for the heartbreak that's usually how it goes I have done a billion mistakes before maybe I am going crazy say you feel the same now that we dancing I'm taking my chances I'm going like one Okay, this little tool I'm gonna put on my toothpaste here in a second. I'm gonna link for you because they are game changers. If you're one of those people that you wanna get every last drop out of your product before you switch to a new one, this is going to be your best friend. Um, they come in all different colors, it's like a pack. So when you get one from you, you can get one for your husband or your kids or share it with some friends or whatever, but you can see I just slide it up and it just squeezes everything to the top and you literally get every ounce of product it doesn't have to be just for toothpaste maybe you have hand lotion or creams or stuff like that any type of product that that can slide into it's gonna work where you go i follow let's go out and dance the night away i am ready for the heartbreak that's usually how it goes i have done a billion mistakes before Another game changer for me are these clear bins. You can get whatever you can afford. So if you can go to Dollar Tree and get the white ones, they have different colors there. Um, I know Target has a white line that's super affordable. I feel like these clear ones from Walmart are just another great deal and I love that they're clear. I feel like it just keeps everything where it's supposed to. It keeps things from sliding around. You're not like mixing things. I don't know, it just makes them so aesthetic looking and it just keeps you happy and calm. I don't know why organization makes me calm and happy but it does and I think it does for anybody like when you open up a cabinet or a drawer and it's not stuffed or crammed or like falling at you and it's just nice and pretty you're just in a different mood so if you've never tried it just work on one space whatever that space is just work on one area and see what you think for the week see if you love it see if it matters but if you ask me it always matters and it just makes a big difference in your mood and just how you go through the day maybe strike up close
You'll have to let me know down below if you guys wanna see like an organizational home tour. I've done it in the last couple of houses and you guys seem to like it, but I also know like Christmas content starting soon. Um, so I have a few adjustments I can make if needed, but let me know, like, do you wanna see Christmas shopping? Like everything I'm buying to decorate with? Do you wanna see more of like me going through my house and opening up like my cabinet doors and my drawers and stuff like that? Either way, I can make it all work, but I'm just curious which one you wanna see more. Or if you want to hold Alf on the organizational home tour until maybe January when like Christmas is done and we're getting our houses back in order. So just kind of let me know your thoughts down below. Now we're gonna head here into my laundry room and a lot of it's organized. Like a lot of this I had left over from our last house. I did do a few things where it's in clear bins, but still in Lazy Susan. So I can pull this whole thing out if I need to, or I can keep it here and spin it. So that's been super helpful. I know it's like doubling up on bins, but it's been very, very nice. This one I might go quickly, but at least I have a system. I'm sure I could declutter, so I'll probably do that. But first, I wanna work on this cabinet because I feel like it's just my catch-all when I don't know what to do with something. I've just been shoving it underneath here. So let's figure this out. I'm sure a lot of this is just gonna be decluttered. So basically this cabinet became that space of where we didn't know where to put something and it wouldn't fit in a drawer. <laughs> we just like threw it in here because we knew we didn't want it out in the garage and we needed to get to it, but we hadn't decided if it had a home yet. So it felt so good to clear the space out. I've been wanting to do it for so long, but you know how you have those spaces like you know you need to work on it, but you just don't have the motivation. When you finally get the motivation, just do it, and then it's gonna push you on to do other ones. So when you kinda just feel that itch to get something done, do it, get as much done as possible, and just ride that motivation out. I was able to clear that entire thing out. Either it went to a different home or I'm getting rid of it. So I have a whole free cabinet. Um, now, I have like a whole thing of mask. I just kept them up there. You just never know. So I thought a good place would be the medicine. I never know where to put them and finally like, collect. Like, let's do it with the medicine. But now I'm just gonna go through it real quickly and see if I can like toss anything out of here. Come take my hand, I will walk with you. A tip I like to tell for beginners, like say you've never really decluttered or you don't know where to begin, just start with a Walmart sack and just pick up like trash. See if you can come up with like a Walmart sack full of trash. If you can do that, then move on to like another bag, Walmart size or whatever size you have. If you wanna do a garbage bag, do it. If you wanna do the Walmart sack or Target, you can do that. But then try to do like a bag's worth of donations. Or maybe you have like an Amazon box sitting in your garage. Tell your that you're gonna fill that up. So maybe you don't have the motivation to get a whole room done, but maybe you can just fill up a sack or maybe you can just fill up a box. And if you'll just do that every day, you're gonna see progress as well. Now 
There are very few things I hoard in this house. Like I'm very less is more, we don't need it. I love decluttering. I love filling up my car and taking it to Goodwill. But there's something about blankets that I just love. They just make me happy and I love buying them. And then I store them in baskets everywhere. So I kind of collect baskets now just to put blankets in. But there's something about like office supplies. So when it comes to like pens and pencils and markers and Sharpies and sticky notes, it's like I have a sticky note every day for stuff that I have to get done. Those I have to really pare back on and I really have to catch myself like, okay, I don't need to buy anymore. And then when I was clearing out this drawer, I was like, I really need to test these and see if they're even working. Cause I've been having these same pins since our first house. So maybe it's time to see if they're like dried out. So even just doing that, I had pencils that didn't have any like lead in them. I had pins that weren't working anymore. I know it can be time consuming. So let your kids do that. Even if you had toddlers, I used to let Savannah do it when she was little and she felt so important that she got to help mommy and all she had to do was make sure the pins or markers worked so you can definitely get your family involved if you need to Okay, so now that we have that junk drawer finished, if you're in my area, a junk drawer is so normal. You'll have to let me know, like is it common in your area to have a junk drawer? So in my house, we have two now because I need one by my laundry room because we'll come in from the garage and just do stuff on that side of the house. Plus I love having one in my kitchen cause we're constantly like writing things down or hanging stuff up and I need extra tools. And then my parents leave extra reading glasses over here. So I just felt like for convenience sake, it was nice having two in two different locations since I had the storage space. But you'll have to let me know, do you have a junk drawer and is it organized? Feels like time is going faster than it seems We were just two kids who were trying to live the teenage dream We could see no reason but we should ever try to go to sleep Next up, I wanna tackle my nightstand drawers. Um, you can see there's like socks in there, a heating pad. I don't think I have a ton in there. I just wanna get it more in like bins so it makes sense, especially the top one. So I'm gonna work on that next. We were never growing up, said we'd be on forever. You taught me how to love and nothing could be better than you and me, you and me, baby, it was you and me. You know, you're getting old when you have like a heating pad in your nightstand and I have like ibuprofen. If you guys saw that medicine, I have like chapstick, Kleenexes. I don't know. I just feel like I'm getting so old when I actually see like the items that I keep in my nightstand now. Uh -oh. I was honestly shocked how many scrunchies I got rid of between like drawers and junk drawers and my bathroom because I never pull my hair up with a scrunchie. So I honestly don't know why I had so many and I've done so many declutters. I was finally like, what am I doing? I have to get rid of this. So sometimes it takes a little while to figure stuff out. But now we're in my guest bedroom and we're inside the guest closet. I'm trying to work on it because I have my sister and brother-in-law and nieces coming into town and sometimes our guest bedroom closets can be another catch-all you just kind of like throw stuff in there so I'm trying to figure out like how many extra pillows do I need how many blankets do I need if you notice that like pole fell on the ground and it sounded so loud Chase came in there he thought I had fallen off the stool so he was in there checking on me and then it helped me finish up There's something with pillows too. I think of myself as like a minimalist and I don't have a lot of stuff. And then as we're like decluttering, I'm like, I do have a lot of blankets and I do have some makeup and 
I do have a lot of pillows, but basically pillows are hard for us. I feel like we're constantly buying them, trying to find the right ones. And then pillows can be expensive and I like having extra ones. So like Christmas time comes and everyone's staying at my house. I wanna know if they don't bring their own pillow, I have extra. So that means like all year long, I'm storing extra pillows I don't need, but I wanna know when I'm hosting, I have them. So I feel like sometimes that's what a guest bedroom closet is. Maybe I don't use it every day, but I wanna know when I'm hosting, I have everything I need. So we have tons of like pillowcases and extra sheets and you know, old comforters, but I also love having that. So when my company's here, if they need it, or if we need to make a pallet for kids or something like that, we have whatever we need to allow a lot of people to stay overnight in our house. Uh -oh. Now I'm working on my extra home decor. So basically I bought a ton of home decor when we were building this house. And when I was first decorating, I had some leftover and I do love to keep like either a closet or a cabinet, something like that with overflow home decor that I love. So I may not need it right now, but I know I'm gonna want it again in the future. I don't wanna have to rebuy it. Um, but some of the stuff I had bought and then I just have too much of, and I wanted to give it time because we had just moved in, but now I'm starting to figure out like what I really do want or need and what I don't. And so I'm just trying to get rid of all the fluff, but I always have extra home decor. So when I get that, it's just switch. I have things on hand. I've got my like giveaway donation pile right there, but this is another spot I wanna work on. Chase has slowly been um, rearranging this because he's trying to get his fall down and his summer up. So you can see his shirts are here but he left a big gap. So I wanna like space these out, which I may need his help. I think even on a ladder, <laughs> I'm gonna be too short. So I'll have him do that. And then I cleared some stuff out down here. So I think his shirts may be able to come down because sometimes you still wear those underneath sweatshirts and stuff or like the ones he might wear. So I think we're gonna work on this just for a little bit. I think we can just tweak it a little bit and make it better. I want you to see the difference that this makes. So he had all of his shirts crammed onto like one rod right there. So they really couldn't breathe. He couldn't see what he had. If you have the space, stretch them out, like give them space, give them room to breathe. If you don't have that, it's probably time to declutter unless you wear those every single day. And if your closet's packed, you probably don't. Now I get in some older homes are really small and so they just have to be. But if you have the space, go ahead and use it, spread it out. It looks so much better. Now I'm gonna work on his bottom section. Like I said, we're kind of flipping this over for fall. I don't really have to change much on mine because mine's all like eye level where I can reach it. But another tip is to declutter, declutter, declutter. Chase has a hard time with that, but use all matching hangers. It's gonna look so much nicer and so much neater. Just every time you go to Walmart, just buy one pack or like buy it from Amazon, ask for Christmas. Um, and then always color code your clothes. Now you can do it in sections. I like to break it down in categories. Like we have like short sleeve t-shirts and pants and hoodies and then jackets, but I color code within those sections and it looks so much better. But then when you're looking for say a black top, you can just go to the black section or maybe you need a white shirt, you can go to the white section. Plus, like I said, it just looks way better and I'll show you some after clips here in a second. Now we're gonna head over to my side of the closet and I declutter often. Like I probably put something in our donation pile every single week. Um, I'm really good at just like letting go with stuff like that. 
Um, but in other areas, I'm not just like my blankets. Like every time I go through my blankets, I'm like, I can't, I just need them. When people come over, I want them to feel warm and have a blanket. Um, Chase is like that with his clothes. He's like, I might need it one day in 20 years and he'll have it to wear. So you just kind of have to go with what feels best. But if you're not wearing something and you haven't wore it in several years, you're probably not going to need it. So it feels better to let it go. It feels better just to have like enough clothes that fit in your closet, give them space face, make it look super pretty. And most of the time you have plenty of clothes to get through the week before you do a load of laundry. I'm just guilty of just wearing like the same thing every single week. So like still 75% of this closet doesn't get touched because I just wear the same thing over and over. I call it my uniform and it works just fine. But now I'm going to go ahead and show you the pile here of everything we decluttered. Um, there's more. I didn't show it all and I didn't show any of like the stuff that just got trashed. But here's a look of just like going through my house everything i came up with You just saw the before clips and now this is the current state I am. So I'm so ready to get this tackled and organized so we can have a working kitchen again. So I'm starting with the cabinets that I know where I want stuff to go and I feel like drinks go really well right next to the refrigerator because that's where you're grabbing like the water or whatever you need. Um, these I'm going to leave for over by the coffee bar because they're more for coffee but so far I think we're doing good. If I don't have to use those right there I'm not going to because I can't get to them so it'll just be for like extra things and then we even have that layer up there if we need it but stuff I'm going to be touching daily or just often I'm trying to keep within these first two levels that I could actually get to. So I think I got all the cups put away. I might have more. So that's how that one's going. Those are all like coffee cups. That's why I kept them on that side. And then I got the other drinking glasses here. Um, and now I'm going to go ahead and work on the plates because I like to have them to the right of my stove for whatever reason. So I'm going to get some of that put up. Then I can start figuring out where like other things are going to go. The only thing that's throwing me here is I wanted this to be like my baking station because that's where I have like my brown sugar and flour and all that and it might still work because I have these drawers here. I'm just wondering should I put my plates up in the cabinet or them down here in the drawer where it's easier to get to.
Dishes and bowls are done. Like I said, I need to get the <laughs> top shelf and then I can figure it out. Um, I went ahead and like broke some of these up because I didn't want a ton of weight on those shelves. It kind of scares me even though it's a new house. Um, so even if, even though it's like the same thing, I'm still like breaking it up, but that's looking good. I decided for the drawer, I may do more of the baking stuff. Um, these bowls, white ones, I really like. I may put those up here when I get that shelf in. Now I'm gonna kinda come down here for a second and make one of these my baking drawers possibly to see um, how those bowls and different things will fit down here. I've never really had drawers to put stuff in other than like forks and stuff like that. So I'm curious to see how it'll work down here. I think I'm actually gonna really like this. Um, I threw away one bowl because it was stained and I'm gonna replace it and that will go perfectly there. And then all these smaller things, I'm gonna go grab, oh, I was gonna put it here. I completely forgot I did this already. I was looking for straws and stuff last night. I had no idea. I think I vaguely remember doing it when I was really tired, I think, because we were looking for stuff. That is hilarious. Okay, I was gonna put some baking stuff here. So now I'm gonna have to think real fast if I wanna move this or just move that stuff somewhere else. Okay, so I'm trying to figure this out. I also have this one done because obviously people need their coffee in my house. <laughs> so um, we have coffee makers here. Chase has one, Savannah has one. I'm thinking about moving all of this down and then maybe putting all of these supplies here and then that leaves this open for like baking stuff. So then it's like you can bake right here with your supplies. You'll have it there. You'll have the bowls and then the oven's here and everything you need. So I think I'm going to do some itch to switching already. So last night it was super late, but we ended up at Walmart to pick up a few things and I grabbed some of the own um, home edit organizers um, because I knew I was probably gonna need them and I'm glad I did because I'm gonna need all of these. I probably should have brought even more, but I think these will help me get the baking stuff organized and then I need a few more for my silverware drawer over here and then I really need some more for the coffee station. So let's see if we can make them all fit. I think I got these drawers looking good. Next time I go, I'll probably pick up more um, just to fill this in. So as we get things or as I'm unpacking other things, um, there's actual like dividers there. But other than that, it's looking good. I think this will still be a good spot over here for this. Um, just because I think the bakeware is just going to look better over here and function better since that's where the oven is.
it's getting a little overwhelming and I'm getting a little stressed. <laughs> There's a lot going on. So real quickly, I'm gonna go ahead and put these knives in here. These are like two of the new Walmart ones and get this drawer figured out. Then we're gonna take a pause and I'm gonna clean a little bit and then we'll regroup and finish the rest of the kitchen. I don't need to stop, yeah. Yeah, I can't wait to hit that bass drop dance. It's all I wanna, wanna do right now. Oh, oh, oh. Everybody will be on me, wanna join me when I take a shot. Take a shot. I'll be the center of attention like I was some kind of astronaut. Cause I'm shooting for the moon tonight. And I got a feeling I'm gonna crash some stupid party. Tear the ceiling down in front of everybody. If someone's pouring up a drink, I'm calling shot. I'm just an accident way to not perfect but better <laughs> so I'm gonna take it um, the next thing I'm gonna work on is pots and pans because I know I want them to go right here with the stove so anytime I'm putting stuff away in a kitchen I try to think where is the easiest place to get it <laughs> and so um, to me drinks close to the fridge silverware close to the dining table um, for some reason, I just like my plates to the right of the stove, um, baking stuff close to the oven. That's just kind of my theory or system. So I'm going to get all my pots and pans organized in those two drawers. I just found my pans um, or dishes to bake in. In the last house, I had them so high up that every time I had to do something, Chase had to go get it down for me. So I'm putting this in that bottom drawer down there. So anytime I wanna bake or do whatever, make a cake, <laughs> bake a casserole, which never happens, but if I want to, I'm gonna be able to reach it. For all these like skinnier ones, I noticed that our cabinet guy gave us these little cubbies. So I'm gonna put them in there as well as the cutting boards too. Do you miss me at all? Do you think about the things we used to do? No, you couldn't stand tall. Why didn't you, why didn't you call? So many years gone by But I think about you by So now all that's organized down there And then this as well I didn't want to have to worry about those lids all the time So I went ahead and rearranged this just a little bit And put them up there Because most of the time I'm just grabbing that to put something in So just made that little switch, but other than that, everything else is the same. All the time. Looks like you're changing and all. Well, why didn't you, why didn't you call? Something in the air, always something in the air. Inexplicable, look and feel it in the air. Honestly, 
did not think this was gonna work when I saw this. I was like, there's no way I'm gonna be able to put stuff in and close it. And then I didn't know what I would do with those shelves, but I feel like it's perfect. I can see everything I need. And once again, it's right here by the baking station and the stove. So it serves both purposes. In my last pantry, this is how I did our spices and I loved it. I also have another bin I need to grab, um, but they gave me, this is what I'm assuming is a spice rack. <laughs> um, and it will be nice to have it like right here next to the stove when we're cooking. So I'm gonna put all of that out. And then like I said, I think I have other ones um, that like aren't as pretty. They're in the original like packaging. So I'm gonna grab those too. Do you miss me at all? the things we used to do no you couldn't stand tall so why didn't you why didn't you call so many years has gone by but i think about you about you all the time looks like you're changing and all but why didn't you why didn't you call If you are doing a remodel or building, I highly suggest these two little pullouts. Like I said, I didn't ask for them. Um, he just put it in the plans when we were kind of like designing the kitchen. And it's just a really nice way to stay organized. Plus everything can like stay put away. I always hate having salt and pepper out, but I know you need it in your kitchen. So I love that it's just like right there now. I've got some like randomness <laughs> there and there and i'm kind of saving those for last and i'm trying to get the most important things done i think the next thing i need to work on are my food storage containers i'm not too worried about my um like hosting supplies just because they can always go way high up um but what i just realized is i haven't like touched the side of the island um i think these are all empty i need to make sure i have not unpacked when i was delirious obviously this will be all cleaning products which i need to go out and get this is our trash can drawer um our realtor oh right here got us tons of like summer stuff for the house so i have it in there i like having paper plates this will probably be all of our dish towels so i have that one down there open and all three of those and then on this side that's my silverware so i'll probably do food storage here since like we'll cook and then I can prep it here and then put it in the refrigerator. Now on these at the last house I kept them nested. I might keep one that way but I'm going to see if I have room to take the rest of them out just so when I need like the small one down there I don't have to take off like every lid to get to it so I'm going to try to organize this just a little bit better. missing some of my storage containers but I'm not 100% but maybe they'll turn up um, I was trying to use these at first I forgot those were from my, my pots and pans so I don't need those anymore I'm gonna hang on to this one just in case I am missing something and I can use that and I decided to use one of these because it had a divider in it um, for my lids so now they're up and I can just grab whatever size I need so that worked out nicely. I pulled everything out of that box and I'm gonna see out of this what I can fit in between these two drawers. I also have this one, but it's kind of a random drawer. Um, I will say these, I got off Amazon and they look like Starbucks cups. So I'm gonna put those over with the coffee just so people know they can grab them. Um, this is like a party bin. If I have to put that in the pantry, that's fine too. And I actually just remembered we have the whole laundry room if I need anything to go over there as well. So like the party stuff may go into the utility room.
Let me go by your side. Let me go by your side. I really like having to go containers here just so when we're posting, if people want to take something home, so I'll constantly like bring stuff that we have from restaurants. And I like to keep stuff on hand, so I'm gonna go ahead and just keep it there. That's how this drawer turned out. I think I'm gonna throw these right here just so if anybody wants like a plastic cup, sometimes they ask for them. And then, oh, I actually bought more hand towels. They're in the dryer, so I'm gonna go get those. That doesn't go in there. I might change all these out. I'm gonna go grab the new ones and fold them and then we'll put them out. like I'm left with this section which a lot of this is just organizers that if I don't use I don't use um, some of my platters and stuff if I can get them to fit down here in this drawer I'm going to like I said I have all this high up storage but if I could get it down here it would be nice so when I need it I can just pull it out so I'm gonna put it in there see if I can make it work get the main pieces that I might use and then I can put the rest up I just remembered I have these cabinets down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out. That way I can put all of that, all of this, all my serving stuff down there between those two places. We are killing it. I still have those two drawers empty, but I haven't done my pantry yet. So I don't know if my pantry video is going up first. Um, this one should be going up first, but if it's already done, go and watch it. But if not, this is how it started. <laughs> so there may be a few boxes in there that still go out here. So I'm glad I have a few drawers left. Um, I'm gonna need this step stool and I have this drawer empty. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in there. So I'm never having to look for it. It's just there ready to go. Um, I will say down here is my like broom and vacuum closet. Chase is gonna have to take my vacuums. We will not be doing that today. The last thing I wanna do before we like clean and decorate, this video is probably gonna be so long. Um, I wanna go get all my cleaning products. I've just been throwing stuff in here. I've got a ton in the garage and I loved how my organization was at the last house. So I'm gonna see if that same system works. And then I'm gonna clean all the countertops and then we're gonna decorate and then we're gonna do just a quick little walkthrough and then we'll be finished. We are gonna see if I can make this fit. I feel like this one's bigger than my last one just by a little bit, but um, the guts of it may be set up different. What's in there I'll pull out and I'll try to declutter as I go too because some of these bottles may be empty. If you let me stay. This is all the stuff I have left over. Those towels or cloths just need to be washed. A lot of this cleaning products just need to go in other like powder bathrooms or my laundry room, stuff like that. So I'll work on that. But I did get this done. It looks a little bit different than my other one just because of all those like pipes and stuff. I couldn't do the same thing. So I decided to put my cleaning cloths over here, which might be nice that I don't have to bend over. I can just like grab 
um, the cleaner and then I don't have to come down here and like open up a drawer to get it out because I'm always grabbing those. So I think it actually may work out better. Now it's time to clean and decorate. So while I'm cleaning and wiping all this down, I need to load that in the dishwasher, but the dishwasher's full and I haven't decided if I wanna unload it yet. I'm so tired. Um, I'm gonna have Chase hang our family photos here. So these photos were when you first walked in our front door at the old house and I loved them. Um, I really need to update the photos in them, but we're gonna go and get them hung right here. I think it'll look good because this is like where our pantry is. So I'm gonna clean all the countertops and then I'm gonna start decorating while he's hanging. I wanna stay in your sunlight. I wanna wake up with you by my side. Without you there is no tomorrow. We could be in for the best ride. Not this the last for the rest of us. We did it. So I'm gonna take you through so you can see it with all the cabinets opened and then I'll do it with them shut so you can see what it looks like during the day. But I did a little bit of rearranging off camera so I switched out some of the cups here. But I'm glad to have all that finished. And then right here is my silverware drawer, food storage drawer. And then right now that's just my little step stool. And then over here by the stove, I have my Caraway on top and then my Walmart on bottom and I love both. Completely different price ranges, but they work, both work really well. Um, and then up here I have all my um, like bowls and plates. Like I said, we're still waiting for that shelf to come in. And then down here I love that like all the oven mitts and baking supplies are just right here. So there's that. I'm gonna get one more mixing bowl because I threw one away. And then I have an empty drawer because I had um, my bakeware here, but I realized I had a drawer over here. Um, so I'm And then up. above the stove is all my cookie sheets and um, cutting boards that we actually use. I have cutting boards down here, but they're more for like decor. I mean, you can grab them if you need them. Over here, it's a little bare. I have Chase's coffee mugs because this is his coffee maker <laughs> right there. I don't drink coffee. And then over here, this is Savannah's. Um, so I put all her types of coffee cups here and her Starbucks cups. And then this is like what I call the coffee drawer. I need to get a few more like organizers so I can work on that. And then this one's all of just like our plastic products and it goes to the lids and straws to those Starbucks cups, all of that. And then down here is all of our like serving where, so we got everything in. And here is what it looks like with all the doors shut. Um, I'm super happy we had the backsplash switched out. Um, if you're new here, the wrong backsplash was installed and I tried to make it work and I didn't like it. So like the week before we moved in, they ripped it out and put in kind of what I was wanting and it just looks so much better. But I'm so glad to have a functioning kitchen again. I actually miss having meals at home. We've been eating out so much. Um, so it's just nice to have everything back in here. Now here in the island, we'll go through these real fast. I have like, I'm gonna consider these more of like our hand towels. And then this is what we'll dry dishes off with. Here is just kind of, I always call it like my party drawer for some reason, just when people are over. This is kind of like a junk drawer. It's a little bit of everything. And then that's our trash can. And then right here underneath the sink, I'm really happy with how this turned out. I feel like here I have more space than last time. It was just like really tight at the last house. And then I'm gonna make this my junk drawer. I have one in my laundry room too, but I want one in here that's easy to grab. So I'm gonna work on that once I get more supplies and like organizers. 
Here's all my cleaning cloths. And then down there is just some extra stuff as well. Hey, what's your secret? You got the kind of that leaves when speechless. It could be model multitasking genius. Yeah, you got Hello guys and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. We're going to be working on this house today. Spring cleaning is just around the corner. It's probably even going to be starting in my next video. But before I do those deep cleans, I love to do a major declutter. Organize some of the areas. That way when I'm cleaning, I'm not like cleaning around things I don't need or things that don't belong in its home. So if spring cleaning is in your near future, you're really going to enjoy this video. If not, save it for later send it to a friend because this is kind of a step you want to do with like prepping for spring cleaning you rule the world but make it look like nothing such a boss hey true or false it take about 20 men to do your job a kingdom never fails when there's a queen in charge girl don't stop hey but a cup won't you listen I'm a woman. Anytime there is a season change, that's a really good time to go through your closet and declutter. You can figure out what you wore that season. Now, I will say it's hard to like declutter summer if you're just going into summer. Now, if you remember, hey, I didn't wear that top or I didn't like it last year, you can go ahead and get rid of it. But the main focus is, okay, winter just happened. Did I wear any of that? Did I like how it fit? Um, was it looking a little bit older? Was it peeling? Did it get a hole? But basically declutter that season at the very least. Do your whole closet if you can, but at least that particular season while it's fresh on your mind of what you wore, what you liked, and what you didn't. And raise a little X, X love. I'm a Another good area to declutter are your shoes. So I had some tennis shoes that were just destroyed. I had wore them so much. They had a lot of love, so it was time to let them go. Um, and then I also went through my sandals because I know summer's coming up and as much as I love these sandals, some of them had stones missing because I wore them so much last year and I know I'm going to be getting a new pair or two for this summer. So I could wear all these, but I know I'm going to go into Ross. I know I'm going to go into <laughs> TJ Maxx and I'm going to find a pair of sandals I want new and fresh for this season. So I went ahead and just decluttered some of those so I had spots available when I buy them. I know I have a place to bring them into. I'm still hanging on, but something brings me back to you, 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 back to you. If you have an obsession or love for shoes and you're running low on storage, I love these little like shoe organizers. I'm gonna link them for you down below in my description box. I got them just to show them to you guys to like test them out. I never thought I'd actually use them, but once I put them in my closet, I like fell in love with them. It's just um, so like aesthetically pleasing and I feel like I go into like a department store every time I go in my closet, I can see all my shoes, they're all lined up. So if you're needing to create more space in your closet or you just want the look of them, um, like I said, I'll have them linked down below. But something brings me back to you I swear we belong I'm still hanging on But something brings me back to you My sister and her family are coming in this particular weekend that I'm doing this organizing. So I'm just taking all these extra clothes and putting them in the guest bedroom closet. I'll also put like a bin in there with any like home decor or beauty products and things like that I'm not using. That way she can go through them while she's here and take what she wants and then I can donate the rest once she leaves. a 
guest space, um, especially like a bedroom and a closet, it's really nice just to put your leftover items in there. Then when company comes, maybe they need an extra robe or a cardigan or maybe it's home decor. I feel like it's nice and then they can use it and leave it or they can use it and take them with it if they want it. That way it doesn't get wasted and you can share it with like friends and family. Um, the other thing I like to keep in my guest spaces is like extra blankets, fans, toothbrushes, toothpaste, Kleenexes, warm socks, just stuff like that that they could use while they're here. You can set your spirit free. Pay attention now. Now we're going to go back into my master closet because something arrived from Amazon. So in one of my recent Amazon videos, I showed you these pant holders and they looked so good on my side that Chase put them on his and it just looked so nice that I went ahead and ordered me a set. I ordered me a few because I went ahead and hung up like all my leggings and all my jeans. It's just a nice way to make everything look nice and even and perfectly spaced. So if you're wanting this look as well, I'm going to link it. Um, like I said, I had it all hung before on hangers, but it looked so much like cleaner and crisp and uniform being on these hangers and it's easy to do. It's affordable. So definitely check those out if you're wanting once again, that like department look in your closet or just a very clean organized feel. Also, if you're needing more space in your closet, all you have to do is unhook one of the sides that's on the bar and then it kind of like water falls down and so you'll have a ton more space to hang a lot more pants. So once again, say you're tight on storage in your closet, this is a really good option to create more space because you're using like vertical space. But if you have it, it's just a nice way to have them nice evenly spaced. So just use it whichever way works best for you. you've been waiting for when it all comes and you can just let go honey this is all that you want and more when you open your mind and open the front door A visual tip if you're like organizing is hang your clothes um, by like color codes. And so I have all my whites and my grays and then my blacks and I also do it by season. So you'll see all my short sleeves are together and then all my long sleeves are together. So you definitely don't have to do it that way. You could do it just by color, but I just feel like it's really helpful when it's like, okay, it's chilly outside, I go to this section or if it's warm outside, I go to that section because I keep all of my clothes out. I don't have like seasonal storage where I put it somewhere else. It's just all there so it just kind of helps me process it a little better and then if you can go through and just like evenly space your hangers even if it's just while you're spring cleaning so you just get um, that little bit of visual interest and it makes it feel like you did something like you're gonna walk in your closet and love it another tip is go through and take out all those extra hangers I feel like Chase is bad about leaving his in so I'm just gonna go through I definitely need to color code his shirts it's been a while but I'll tackle that another day and there you are, your heart a signal for You're never far, you're never far Just have to close my eyes And there you are, and there you are Your heart is Now we are going to head into our hallway and Savvy is going to help me work on her school closet. So in all of our homes, we always have this linen closet, but I never use it as a linen closet. It's just always been perfect for like homeschool and crafts and games. And so that's what we use it for. And I will say when we're getting close to spring, um, we're kind of finishing up our homeschool year. Like we still do have like a month, month and a half left, but we're starting to finish up subjects. We're realizing what we're using, what we're not using. And I will say, I just never got this closet under control. I loved it in our last home and this home I just could never make it work and there was so much in there that she's really grown up in this house so there was a lot of like crafts and supplies like that that we no longer need so we were going through it together so when she was little I would never take toys she loves but I would kind of sneak stuff out otherwise she would keep everything but as she got older I just learned to do it with her so she could make those decisions and she is really good at letting things go now like if she loves it 
she keeps it, but she doesn't keep something just to keep it, to say she has it. And so it's made it really easy as a mom. We can sit down, we can go through this whole closet together, figure out what she needs, what she doesn't, and get it organized so that it functions best for her. highly encourage you if you have children to have a closet or a space like this where they can just go and grab the supplies they need. Obviously if they're little you may not want like markers down below and like glue and scissors but as they get older and they can handle that just keeping that at like arm's reach for her when she got bored which is totally okay for kids to be bored that's when she gets creative she would go in there and grab paper and pins and glue and glitter sticks and that's when she would get the most creative and she never had to ask for it she knew she could just walk in there grab anything she needed and she could create her masterpieces <laughs> Now everything she needs is in this space, things she no longer needs is gone so she's not having to dig through it. I will say in the next house I'll probably get like all matching bins and make it look a little bit nicer but since the closet's like a different size I don't want to do it yet. This works just fine in here. We just use items we have. She still has games she can see at the top. I love like filing them in like that so they're not stacked on top of each other so she can grab one out and they don't like all come tumbling down. So that's another tip as well. But that is her space. But now we're gonna head on into my laundry room because this is the catch all. Like always, all day long, there's stuff always in here. So I wanna start off by tackling the cabinet above my washer and dryer and then we'll head on over to to the other side as well. I noticed that I had a lot of the same containers um, in my cabinet and both were like half empty or one was full, one was almost empty. So I decided to go ahead and just combine those items. So I only had one bottle instead of two.
decluttering cleaning products is really hard. I don't mind combining <laughs> and I'm um, getting rid of like excess like that, like the bottles. But as far as like getting rid of cleaning products, it's really hard for me. I feel like a lot of the times I'm like making like DIY home cleaners to clean different things in my showers or sinks. And I just like having those products on hand. I like having extra cleaning products. So if I run out, I've already got something else behind it. I also love trying different types of cleaning products and different brands. So it's really hard for me to like let go. But as long as I don't like take over too much space and it's fine like pick an area whatever it is say you love keeping blankets or collectibles something that's in your house just give yourself like only in this room or only in this closet so you can kind of contain it to a certain amount so i won't go past this with cleaning products like if it's not underneath my sinks or in a cabinet if it starts like going on countertops or behind doors or just on the floor then I probably have too many but if it fits within the home or in the space then it's okay so just kind of pick what your guilty pleasure is and then make sure you're not going super crazy with it. it is time to move on to this other side so like I said this is a catch-all this is where we come in our house this is where we leave our house while I was decluttering the other spaces I was just cramming it in here because I'm like I'll take it out to the garage later we have stuff we have to take to dance we have stuff we're bringing home we have stuff we're taking to the storage unit so we have it for the next house just a lot going on in this space it's sad that like my laundry room side of this room actually stays cleaner than this like bench area so we're just gonna get everything put away in its home get this space cleaned up because i love when i walk into a clean space but i will say this is just one of those areas that i'm constantly having to work on So I mentioned this is like prepping for spring cleaning and this is my point here. When I go to clean this space for spring cleaning, I want to do deep cleaning. I want to be cleaning underneath my washer and dryer or maybe inside the washer and dryer. I don't want to be putting away items that are just like everyday cleaning. I want to do a deeper clean. So for me, that's what spring cleaning is. It may look different for you. That's totally okay. But I want to make sure most of my rooms are ready to go so I can just go in and do the hard stuff, do the stuff I've been putting off all year long, and I don't want to have to go in and clean it before I deep clean it. So if you can just take the next couple weeks to like start cleaning up your spaces, get rid of excess, organize a certain drawer, then when it's time to actually deep clean those spaces, you're not having to do all of it at once, and it makes spring cleaning just a little less work. They're the same pieces Coloring the gray of the light you gave It's pouring out of me yeah. Jump into the deep end. The last space we're going to be working on today is my office um, My office closet is another catch-all I feel like no one's in there It's not a guest space It's just me it's full of products, extra decor, plus anything extra that we can just like cram in there typically goes in there because I know no one's gonna be walking into my office closet. So I just have constantly tried to stay on this space. I've been trying to clear out. I'm gonna do a little bit more. I'm trying to find products that I'm not gonna need in this house. I'm not gonna need in the next house. And then I'm also going to work on um, my desk area as well. This is 
is also the space we've been keeping all of the samples um, that we're getting for like the new house, so all the tiles, the different paints. And so I am not one to put anything under beds, sofas, behind doors. That stuff drives me crazy, but I feel like it's the only place I can hide it right now. So like everything that's designing our new house is going underneath my futon for now. So I cannot wait to clear that out. I know that day's coming very soon um, and I'll be taking some of those things to the new house but until then it's our little secret because I never ever ever do stuff like that your secret you got the kind of that leaves when speechless it could be model multitasking genius yeah you got it all Hello guys and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. Today we're going to be working on a declutter. You're going to see me organize as well. It's not going to be super deep, but basically I'm just prepping for our move. It's happening really soon. You keep asking for a date. If I had one, I'd share it. I don't know, but I do know it's soon. Um, so yeah, I want to declutter anything that I know I'm not going to need or use at the next house. So I've been doing this for a while. Even off camera, we did Chase's like entire truck, like the inside of the truck, the outside of the truck, like it was loaded. Um, but I want to keep going through things just to make sure I'm not taking things we don't need. But this is more of a like realistic declutter because I'm not going to have a ton. This isn't like super intense with crazy ramped up music and I'm going to fill up a whole van worth and be done. This is more just like maintaining your declutter. So maybe you've decluttered recently, but you've still been seeing things of like, oh, am I wearing that? Or I don't like that. And it's just a good ever so often to go through your whole house and just pick a few things out that can get decluttered. They don't always have to be this like massive, intense, like declutter and organize. So I just wanted to share a realistic one with you because I don't feel like I've ever done this. I also like to declutter my clothes after we've ended a season. So I like to go back in like we are done with winter. So I like to go in and I'll focus on all my clothes, but I do a deeper look into my winter clothes. Like, did I wear these at all this year? If I didn't, was there a reason why? Am I needing it for something else? Um, but it's hard to like declutter a season you're not in um, because like we're approaching summer. So unless it just doesn't fit or it's worn out from like last year, I'm not sure if I'm gonna wear it this year. So I don't wanna get rid of something I might need. So just be careful when you're going through like seasonal items like that. But if it was just winter and you know you never picked out that sweater or you did and you never liked the way it looked on you or you had to keep adjusting it or whatever the reason is, go ahead and get rid of it now. I can tell we're like switching seasons because I'm not a big like fashion, clothing, shopping kind of girl. I just buy the basics and I'm happy in all black. You guys know that, but I've been craving a little bit of change. Like I picked up these joggers from Target. I'm gonna link them for you. They are the perfect summer jogger. I've been in them almost every single day. I have like four pairs of them now, um, just because I can't keep them washed as quickly, but they're super lightweight, kind of like an athletic short that you would have, but they're pants. And it's just been so nice to have them. You don't have to worry about like wearing long tunics with them. I also picked up some tops from Gap. I don't know if it's anybody else, but I've just needed like a little bit of change, a little bit of new clothes. Um, so I've just kind of been adding to my collection 
so when like full spring and for full summer are here I'm good to go but I'll toss some of those links down below in my description box just in case you're needing help with fashion I'm like not the girl to go to I'm not your fashion <laughs> influencer but if you need some good basics I'm here for you I'll sing until my lungs give out your beautiful An area that I always forget to declutter is my jewelry section, and I don't know why. I'm not a huge jewelry girl. I love the look of it. I love when I actually apply it to my outfits. Like lately, I've been wearing more like necklaces and bracelets, and I love how it just dresses up my casual look, but I just forget about it. So I don't even think to put it on, much less declutter it. So I thought, okay, this is the day. I'm gonna go ahead and work on it. Um, like I said, it's a realistic declutter, so I didn't get rid of a ton, but there are some pieces that I had just worn a lot of so those were time to go there was some that were just outdated or I just didn't like the style so I'm just gonna go through each one of these drawers and pull out those things that I know I'm not gonna wear anymore so I can donate them and pass them along to someone that will Till my lungs give out your beautiful Wanna put you in that spotlight Next up, let's talk about beauty products. I definitely need to declutter this. This is one area I keep more items for some reason. Like I like to stock up. Like when I go to buy my dry shampoo, I'll buy like four bottles just so I don't have to buy it for a while. Especially when it's a product that I know I use and I love it. I know I'm not changing it up. Plus I feel like I have this big overflow of stock because my daughter loves skincare and she's amazing. She's constantly reading books on it and ingredients and she has very sensitive skin. So she has to try out like a lot of products before she finds something that works for her. And so when it doesn't, I normally take it because I am not sensitive skin at all. And so I can typically get through it. So I just always have a lot in here or I save it for like when my nieces come and I can share it with them. Um, my sister comes in and she has like her beauty license so when she's in I try to buy up on products that I can get cheaper from her so I feel like that's just one area that I have a lot of but there's reasons for it but I had a lot of like empty bottles in here or products that I used to use that I wasn't using anymore because I found a product of Savannah's I liked better so I was just trying to sort through all those pieces I told you if we dance in the blizzard we are not getting Just a few organizing tips. I love having some wicker baskets. I really love clear, but wicker hides. So if you have a ton of stuff you just wanna throw in it that you don't wanna keep organized or you don't want people to see if they open up your cabinets, definitely grab some like wicker baskets. Um, I love these like lazy Susans for in, I mean obviously pantries, but in with your like skincare or hair care, just cause you can spin it and see all the products. I have both right here. This whole line right here is just like my skin routine at night. You guys know I love my red Aspen nails, so I've got all of those. Um, once again, just clear organizers. These are really affordable from Target, but these are my recent find. Target has them too, but these are Walmart. I'm gonna link them for you. I love that they're affordable. I love that they're white. They're perfect for 
um, like grouping things together, but it's not see-through, so it doesn't look as busy as these right here. Like these would look really good white because the name of the color is actually on top of the box. So I can put all like my nail polishes in there and they come with these lids. So you can either put it on top or underneath and then they stack really well too. So for like kids Legos or toys, there's just so many options for those. And I love that um, Walmart came out with those. Like I said, Target has them too. So I will get them linked for you, but just getting things organized. Obviously this is never gonna be perfect because it's just a ton of product, but at least I know exactly where to go if I'm looking for nail polish or nails or hairspray. Like I know exactly where to go and what bin it's going to be in. A tip when you're trying to get organized in closet spaces, invest in matching hangers. Even if it takes a year or two to get them, just every time you go to Walmart, grab a pack of them, ask them for Christmas or birthday gifts. They really are nice to have and it just brings everything together. Um, also with storage, so you don't have enough storage in your closet. Like we have a ton of hanging storage in here, but we didn't have enough shoe storage. Like this is the only shoe storage here. So I picked up these Walmart shelves um, and I think they're made for like the cubbies, the bins, but they're perfect for shoes. I'm a six and a half and it works perfect but I'll take you over here like Chase obviously has a much bigger foot than mine and they work too so originally when we moved in all four fit across here perfectly but we switched sides because this just worked better for him and this side worked better for me um, so just pick up things you need I love having a small dresser in my master closet because they're connected to our bathroom so I love to take a shower at night and come in here and I have everything I need like bras, panties, underwear, socks, all of that stuff. I love having that right on hand here. Um, at our last house, I used like the guest bathroom and I just kept it in the drawer. I know it seems crazy to keep stuff like that in your bathroom, but do it. And when you get out of the shower and you can like get dressed without having to like put a towel on and walk into a cold room, grab what you need. It really is like a game changer. And then another tip while I'm talking is I like to grab these shower hooks. Obviously, you can get them from Walmart, Target, Amazon, wherever. I'll link some for you. But it's a nice way to hang your necklaces so they never get tangled. I can just pick off the one I need, put it back on. I'm never, like, digging. Um, I used to keep them up here in these drawers, and they were always tangled. So I never wore them um, because it would take too much time to get them apart. So this has been just, like... Once again, another game changer. It's easy, it's affordable, um, and it's just something anybody can do. So just pick those up. You may even have some extra ones in a drawer shoved somewhere. <laughs> Grab them and hang up your necklaces. A few more tips before I leave this space. Um, if you have any boxes, like if you have a nice purse, it doesn't even have to be this nice, but just say you get um, like a nice box with a pair of shoes or a purse or just even a bag, like a Dillard's bag or something, and they're like nice and sturdy, you can use them in your closet to decorate. So this looks very like visually pleasing to the eye, but a lot of these are full of different things. So like they have winter stuff in them. So like scarves and hats and gloves, stuff like that, or like accessories I rarely need or holiday stuff. Basically you can use these boxes and bags. So these are boxes right here. Those are bags and it looks like they're just empty setting up there, but there's actually like organization to them so I know before I've used like all my summer sandals in there and then I switch them out when you know winter and summer flip I just keep kind of like interchanging them so if you ever see a nice bag like this or just someone selling it at a garage sale or whatever grab it because it's just a really good way to stay organized but keep your closet looking really nice too Chase always does this to me do your husbands do that <laughs> So his side's definitely less organized. He has a system, but it's not my system. So I just try to let it go. Um, down here are all his shoes, his pants. He's really loved having these that you can just slide your pants on. And then of course the hat storage was a game changer for us because he always used to just stack them up and he would forget which hats he had because they'd be like in the middle of the pile. Um, so that's been really nice to have. I can link these for you and you can just hook them on to any hanger that you like.
I'm trying to organize some of the items I'm getting rid of just so all these necklaces and earrings don't get tangled up. So that's why I'm putting it in these organizers just because I would hate for them to get tangled. So that's why I'm working on that. And then I'm going to go ahead and fold up all like my clothing items here and then we will be moving on to the next space. I keep telling myself to declutter this desk drawer. It's just so hard when it's your workstation and I have a lot of like equipment with just like tripods and cameras and all of that fun stuff. And I have cords in there, but I hate to get rid of it because I don't know what it goes towards. Um, so I didn't get rid of a ton in here, but I'm not taking this desk to the next house. So I know at some point I'm gonna have to clear it out, but for the most part, I feel like it's stuff I use like I go through a lot of like pads and pins because I'm a note taker. I make a list for the next day, like every single day I have lists everywhere. Um, and I just love like pins and pencils and highlighters and markers. So I have all that. Um, so at some point I'll have to move it over into the new desk where I'll probably just pack it up here. And then my mother-in-law is taking my desk that I currently have. Um, but when I went through it, I didn't have a lot. And then I decided to go into our laundry room um, to declutter these baskets. I've done this once before, so I didn't have a ton to get rid of, but these baskets are staying here as well. So at some point I'll have to get these items packed up and I just don't wanna keep things that are like expired, out of date, or items I'm no longer using. And you did it right from the start Like nobody is watching It looks like rain, it smells like rain, <laughs> but I really need to declutter this bin. I need to pack it up too, but the first step's just decluttering it. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't been in here since like last summer, and it kind of scares me a little bit that there's like bugs or snakes or anything in here. So if you see me like a chumpy, <laughs> that's why. Um, but I'm gonna get all this decluttered because I don't wanna take anything to the new house that I don't need. Um, and this thing looks way fuller than what I remember. <laughs> So um, let's get to decluttering this. I do have a different outfit on. So just a reminder, sometimes you can't declutter your entire house in one day. I love when I can, but we are just in a season of life that we are so busy. I'm just doing what I can when I can. So if you're there, you're not alone. I'm there with you. We're going to survive this season and I promise you we're gonna miss it one day. Um, but yeah, if you just have like an hour to declutter or 30 minutes, do it. Just pick one area and work on it. Um, but it does not have to be your entire house all in one day. Okay, so with all honesty, I wanted to declutter this whole thing, <laughs> but I think a lot of this I'm going to need either for um, the next house or I'm leaving for the people here, like the pillows and the throws go out here, it's just rainy. 
and a lot of this stuff we're gonna need for our pools so like all the towels I'm gonna want we have tons of like nerve stuff we weren't able to use here because our land was smaller but um, you know since we have so many acres at the next house we can use that it's all swimming stuff I have a lot of like the boys toys in here right now because we still have um, the people coming to look at our house later again um, so yeah, I mean, I'm sure when I actually go to pack it, I'll be able to declutter it, but I hate to pull all of this out because like I can feel the rain starting. <laughs> so sorry guys, this is just something that has to wait, but just so you can see, my life is not all organized. Look at that bin right there. And we're gonna close it and act like it's not happening for today. We are in the kitchen now. I didn't think I was gonna have a ton in here, but I actually had more than I thought I was going to. Um, kitchens are hard because I don't use a lot of the stuff in my kitchen every single day, but that doesn't mean I don't need it. <laughs> um, so we host a lot in our house, so there's just a lot of utensils and different products we need. So I can't get rid of everything that I don't use on the daily, but I just do the best I can. And then I kind of wanted to tidy up underneath my sink. I have a good system, but sometimes it just needs to be reworked. I needed to go through and make sure all the bottles weren't empty and the products weren't dirty or, you know, all the fun stuff. Like I'm not the only one using this. So sometimes a bottle gets empty, but they put it back underneath the sink. So I was just kind of going through, seeing what I had. I also needed to like refold my cloths right there. So just tidying up, it did not take long at all. But when I was done, it just looked a ton better. I sat down by the ocean It's that tears that I feel Fill up with emotions Could I taste them for real? I do get asked about these organizers all the time. I'm gonna try to remember to link them for you, but they're actually just shoe organizers. So I think I got them from the container store. The ones that were actually made to go underneath your sink were a little pricey. <laughs> um, and so I found them like online, but they were made for shoes. So they actually open and slide really well, maybe a little bit too well. So just remember that, um, but they were way cheaper. So if you're needing something like that, like I said, hopefully I get that link for you. If not, you can ask for it or you can just check out their site and like I said, just look for shoe organizers. I love my robo back, but it was driving me crazy. It was trying to like vacuum around me while I was um, decluttering and organizing. And so I just paused it. And then once I was finished in the kitchen, I started it. But if you don't have one of those, they're super nice, but they can be super annoying sometimes. If you're like trying to work in a space and it wants to be in the space, we weren't friends that day. So that's why it was just sitting right there next to me.
This is another cabinet that's like out of sorts for me. Like I'm kind of a less is more girl, but my daughter loves her cups and she takes them to dance every day. And I drink water and Chase drinks water. So we just have a ton of them. And I've mentioned this before, but my daughter's like a collector. I think she gets it from like Chase's grandma and she just loves to collect things. And it used to be like LOL dolls and Beanie Babies and like all these sweet little toys. And then as she gets older, I realize it's like skincare and high-end water cups and stuff like that. So it's just fun to see her personality, but also see it as she gets older. So that's why I have a cabinet full of like water tumblers, but I'm gonna miss it so much one day. I love opening that up and just seeing so much color because it's so her, just like, I call her my little rainbow in my like black and gray world. Oh, now we're gonna talk about our next drawer. This right here stresses me out so much. If it was up to me, I would take that whole drawer and dump it in the trash and live a very happy life. <laughs> but Chase loves having cords, so when we need to charge something, we have it. Um, we may have to dig for it, but we have it. And I know they're needed, but no matter how many times I organize these, they just get messed up again. So I'm gonna slowly work on them. A lot of them are just chargers, and we have people over here. I feel like I never have enough. Like we have chargers everywhere, but there's never enough chargers. I don't know if you guys can like relate to that or not, but that's just my life. I just gotta say that it's here with me and not where he might be. Let's do a little update. So I did the best I can with this drawer. I almost need to get more organizers, but in the next house, this is actually going to be in our master bedroom. So I'm kind of just making it work for the next month until we get moved and then I'll figure all this out. If it were me, I'd like trash and burn all of these, but Chase doesn't love cords, but he loves having a cord when he needs it. So I'm just gonna make it work. We do have our chargers over here too, so. That's how that drawer's looking. In here in the kitchen, I forgot I had, I hadn't worked on that cabinet. So these are just gonna go on keepsake. These were my plates growing up and I remember eating so many pizzas off these, but Savannah doesn't use them anymore and she did them forever, so I'll just save them for her kids one day or if she asks for them. But I think everything else is gonna go. I do need to ask Chase about this. He's the one that uses it, but he hasn't been. Um, so we're definitely making a dent. It's not an extreme declutter just because I've been decluttering almost every single week, just getting prepped and ready for this move. But I wanted to show you, even if you don't think you have things to declutter, you always do. Like, I feel like I declutter all the time. I don't have a ton in here and I'm able to go into every space and find things that I'm no longer using. And I wanna make it clear, it's not that I don't think it's beautiful anymore, or that it doesn't work or doesn't function. It's just sometimes if I'm not using it, there's no reason for it to take up space in my home. So that's what's happening with all of this. It's also really hard to declutter when you're moving because I don't wanna get rid of something that I might end up needing. So if I'm not gonna use it at all in the next house, then I don't want to have to worry about like packing it and unpacking it and carrying it and all that mess. But if there's a chance that I'm going to keep it, just like all of this, I've decluttered it once off camera. I'll probably go back through the bins right here with you guys just because I don't know what's in those now. Um, but like a lot of this, I would love to declutter, but I'm going to need. Like this is like extra cleaning supplies. Um, down here is just a lot of like extra paints and stains and we use those for projects and so I don't want to get rid of them and then need it later. Paint brushes, rollers, all those supplies, um, extra like towels for dogs or washing the car, extra blankets. I think the only two pillows I'm going to keep are outside 
are these two right here. Um, and I don't even know if I'll use them. I'm going to try not to use a ton of pillows at the next house just because I'm so sick of chasing them. So I am going to go through all these bins real quickly because I bet there's stuff we can get rid of. So I'll start down here and kind of work my way down. So I'm definitely a like pre-planner. Like anytime we move into a house, I already pretty much know where everything's gonna go. Like I'll take a picture or draw out like a picture and label it. Like this is where my pots and pans are gonna go and this is where my cups are gonna go. So when I move in, um, I kind of know where most things are going to go. It may get, you know, moved around a little bit just because you never know the actual size until you're putting your stuff in. But I've been doing that with this garage because at the next house, Chase has a big building. So I'm trying to decide like what tools and items does he need over in his building versus like what do we need just right in the garage where we can open up the door and get it without going outside. We also have a really big um, attic because we don't have pan or pantries we have pantries we don't have basements here in Oklahoma so we have attics but they get really hot so I'm trying to decide like what can go up there because it's easy um, to get to but this is a space that I'm constantly like hmm what is this gonna look like in the next house We are starting to look so much better, so I'm thankful for that. Um, good news is I'm trying to get this stuff organized, but we will be moving it soon. Um, if you guys wanna see me packing and moving and just like filling it with like tips, let me know down below in the comment section. Just type like packing or moving video, whatever you wanna do, just let me know. Um, Cause a lot of this can go over there soon cause we have our building done over there. But all my cleaning stuff's done. This is just extra bags, which I'll use for moving um, cleaning products. This is just overflow. If I was staying here, I would have taken them out of this package and lined them up. But if we're gonna be moving, it's just easier to keep it as is. I did pull out a lot of these light paper products because we're probably gonna go through all of those <laughs> before we move. Um, and then right here's everything I'm decluttering and getting rid of. A lot of these bins were empty or just had like stuff to wash our car in. This was like, this one down here was all of our organizers. Um, so all this stuff, a few of these were empty too. But like I said, I can't really move any of this. I did like refold and organize our towels and pillows up here. So that looks nicer. I know what we have. Um, I'm kind of prepping today too. You guys are going to be like, why are you decluttering and organizing before you move it all? Um, the people that bought our house actually have not ever walked through our house. <laughs> Their daughter did, but the power was out. So it was dark. So they're coming tomorrow. And so I just want it to look really nice for them. Plus I needed to declutter before we move. So it's just kind of a win-win. Then I can kind of like have inventory on what's where, what do I need to get, all of that fun stuff. But I know it's still messy. I know it's still a garage. And I know like in my garage organizational video, it looked a thousand times better. But for just being here one more month and this stuff will probably be going in a week or two, I think we're good to go. So I want to show you this side of my garage. It's back crazy again. <laughs> I've got Savannah's whole dance bag is set up here since they're coming. But here's everything I'm getting rid of. And I kid you not, two weeks ago off camera, we filled up Chase's like inside of his truck. Um, and the whole bag and took it and I still have that whole bag those pillows this whole box This whole thing and that so I feel like we're looking really really good on this move Because um, like I said, I just never want to move things that I'm not gonna use so thank you guys so much for watching today's video Make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye